Hello everyone. I am Vachal. Welcome you all to my channel. And today I am going to show you how to fix keyboard not showing in device manager. So whether you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Windows 7, the solution will remain the same. And there are four methods to fix this issue. So just go to the start button, right click over it and click on device manager option. And you can clearly see that the keyboard is missing from this list of drivers. So the first method to fix this issue is just click on any of these device first. After clicking on any of these device, just go to the top menu and click on action menu. And then just click on the option scan for hardware changes. So what this will do is it will try and find the keyboard driver on your system and install it. So just do it two, three times. So this was method number one. If method number one didn't work, then just try out method number two. Again, go to the top menu and click on view menu. Under view menu, just click on this option show hidden devices. And now just see whether your keyboard is showing here or not. So this was method number two. If method number two didn't work, then just try out method number three. Just expand this other devices and under other devices, just click on any of these device. Now right click over it and click on the option update driver. Click on the option browse my computer for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now it will show all the drivers in your system. Now just go down. And just click on keyboards. Now click on the next button. Now under manufacturer, just click on standard keyboards. Now go to the right hand side and under model, just go down and select this standard PS by 2 keyboard and click on the next button. Click on the yes button. So it will show some error. Just click on the close button. So you can see that the keyboard is now showing and it is showing the standard PS by 2 keyboard driver also. But this is not the actual keyboard driver as it has the yellow icon on it. So to install the actual standard PS by 2 keyboard driver, just restart your system once. So just close this and just restart your system. So I have now restarted my system. Now just go to the start button, right click over it and click on device manager option. And now you can see that the actual standard PS by 2 keyboard driver is now installed. And now you can uninstall this standard PS by 2 keyboard driver with the yellow icon that we had installed. So just select it, right click over it and click on uninstall device option. Click on uninstall. And now you can just check whether your keyboard is working or not. So this was method number three. If method number three didn't work for you, then just try out method number four. Go to the search bar. And now in the search bar, just type turn windows features on or off. So yeah, it is showing in the search result. Just click on this, turn windows features on or off. Now just click on this plus icon to expand this .NET Framework 3.5. And now if in your system, if these three boxes are checked like this, then what you have to do is just uncheck them, all the three. .NET Framework 3.5, Windows Communication Foundation HTTP Activation, Windows Communication Foundation Non-HTTP Activation. So just uncheck all the three. Like this. Click on Yes. After unchecking them, just click on the OK button and just restart your system. After restarting your system, your issue will be fixed. So these were the four methods that you can try out to fix keyboard not showing in device manager. So that's it from my side. 
If you like my video, you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.